Can you hear me? Yeah. Um, first time in London, talking in London, so I'm very happy to uh, talk to you a bit about Copia and what we're doing. My name is Roy. Uh, we've been, we co-founded Copia about a year and a half ago um, with the uh, idea to bring forth AI, now more specifically image recognition to the world. Um, and we're going to talk a bit more specifically in the retail sector. So there's a lot of uh, image relevant questions uh, we can ask. Are there any luggage unattended in this train station? Or uh, how many points sports question? How many points are players scoring during a game in real time? Fashion questions like uh, uh, the, the, the Seti, right? Uh, what's, what's her dress? Where can I buy it? Um, and retail questions. Where are my products? Um, why am I losing money in that store? Uh, in fact, there's 4.7 trillion images that will be stopped uh, in 2017, that will be generated after 2017. And each company is asking their own set of questions based on their business needs. Questions that computer vision, a lot of these questions computer vision can uh, reply to. And that's what we wanted to do. We didn't want to just create a, a specific computer vision application. And not only that, but we wanted to allow any company to create their own. Uh, without employing hordes of engineers, uh, of, of uh, developers, uh, of data scientists, um, but to actually deploy it on their own and in a short amount of time. And that's why we created the Cube by Copius. It's a platform that allows you to do just that in a few clicks. I'll go back to my previous, uh, the last question I asked, and that's more in, in retail. And that's where we focused our efforts now to, to prove our case. Uh, it turns out that brands and, and retailers lose about $53 billion uh, a year because their shelves and, and their products are not stocked properly and they're not executed properly. And that's due to non-compliance. Products are not placed properly in, in, in where they're supposed to be, out of stock. About $2 every shopping visit is lost. Uh, competition, they can't react quick enough to their competitors' moves. Uh, so a typical shelf, like the one you see usually takes 20 to 40 minutes uh, for, an aud for an auditor or a sales rep to audit it. By the time the reports are compiled, sent back to the company, that's six weeks later uh, usually to take action, uh, actions that are no longer relevant. All that can be done in 10 seconds using image recognition. So uh, you, we use deep learning techniques um, where every product in that image is captured, identified, uh, its brand, its ID, its price where visible, whether it's out of stock or not, the analytics are assembled and sent directly for action, either directly in store, also uh, in the headquarters. Let's take a, just a quick uh, use case um, to show you what, what we've done. For example, uh, a major electronics manufacturer wanted to understand in 600 stores in Germany, which they've never visited before, three main uh, questions or three main answers. One, What's their market share? What's the market share of their competitors? Uh, two, uh, their best sellers. How are they doing? What's their share on the shelf? Three, uh, they had just released a new range of products. They wanted to know where, where it is. And that's how they did it on the platform. So that you go ahead and upload your images, but not just upload, you can organize them, you can classify them, you can structure them. So basically by creating your hierarchy of information, you categorize your data and your photos and in the end, your own computer vision will spit out based on that organization uh, the results you need. So if you organize it in different categories or different uh, labels the way you wish to, uh, to do that. Then you interact with, uh, with the platform, just a graphical interaction where you're anno annotating images, you're training the computer vision, uh, you launch training of your model automatically, get the results. If they're not good enough, you supply more photos, continue that process until you actually can capture the products you wish to capture. And finally, you deploy, uh, either using our API or directly on our dashboard, um, depending on the use case. Now, in that particular case, we actually partnered up with a crowdsourcing company, the guys that incentivize shoppers, you and I, to collect photos while they're doing their groceries. Um, in a matter of days, we collected all the images, all the analytics were done on the spot or on our cloud, and basically the analytics were sent within a week so they can take the appropriate action while it's still relevant. Just a bit about image capture, a question I usually get uh, to anticipate that. Uh, it's either done, uh, obviously, by smartphone applications, either ones that, are this, that, that belong to the sales rep, 
uh, of the certain brand, for example, depending on the user. Crowdsourcing is another good smartphone application type. Um, uh, but otherwise as well, small integrated cameras and shells, robots, now companies are doing robots that walk in the, up and down the aisles trying to capture products. So different image capturing techniques. I'm gonna speed up a bit, she told me I have three minutes left. Uh, but not just electronics, we actually are replicating this Certain categories are better than, than others uh, for image recognition. Obviously for fine grain, really down to cuts of, of dresses and, and might be uh, a difficult category. Uh, shoes, alcohol, pharmacy, we're replicating the same process in different categories. Who are we? A quick, uh, quick overview of that. We're a, a mixture of, of AI and machine learning experts uh, based in Paris and a bunch of evangelists trying to bring AI into the world. Um, and uh, package it as a product ready to use by companies. But we also have uh, academic collaborations in Paris with the top schools there. We do little mini hackathons every now and then uh, based on the topics. IBM and Microsoft backed us as well our incubator in Paris. Um, we have a footprint already in the States and commissioned salesmen and, uh, and market research. Also, we've uh, outsourced some of the mobile application development and so on. That's not our core business. Quickly over, over the business terms, uh, margin is uh, what we brag about. There's, we have quite a, quite a strong margin between the cost of, anal of, of the computation and, uh, and uh, the price of the analytics. Market size have identified a uh, multi-billion market only in retail. Scalability, right now we're processing tens of thousands of images a month. We wish to go to 500,000 images a month to, towards the end of the year. All that parallel computing, on-demand servers, no problem. Uh, growth and traction, we started our commercial activity about four months ago properly and we already have organically 20 customers in the pipeline, signed already a couple of uh, contracts with them, different brands, different uh, solution providers. Uh, we're hiring, not 40 data scientists, <laughs> definitely not, but uh, a couple of uh, data scientists and developers uh, and now closing our fund. So whoever is interested as well, we're closing uh, around uh, early next month. Um, the future route for this uh, upcoming year. So I talked a bit about retail execution. Uh, we also want to get into logistics ex execution, help capture that. So for those of you eventually who've heard of Amazon Go, the no lines, no checkout model, when retailers and supermarkets uh, all over are ready to actually get to the Amazon Go model, will be the engine of digitalization, that, that engine of transformation behind that, capturing products, uh, well, case, case of Mission is, is quite out there already. So we'll be at the center of this transformation, uh, not just for retailers, but we're already doing it now for brands and solution providers in that space. And that's just retail. Basically our aim in the, in the future is to automate <coughs> this entire process of image recognition, and that's already available on the platform. That should be times up. Thank you. Hey.